Our next speaker, Dr. <coughs> Mark Shapiro, is not just our chief of radiology. Mark is a board member who for the last two years has served on the executive committee of our system and hospital boards. But Mark's a doctor's doctor, not just in his profession, but how he looks at the world. And there's no one with a bigger heart who cares more deeply about our communities. So not just, not only is he a great physician, he's a great guy, he's a great leader. And I always say, we are only going to be as good as our medical staff. And we're very fortunate in Englewood, where we have a superbly talented medical staff, and we can't wait to partner with the amazingly talented medical staff at Hackensack Meridian Health. And Mark truly represents the essence of that. Dr. Mark Shapiro. Before I get started, I just need to say, I just want to thank you for your great friendship, you're a great mentor, and I am so proud, not only of what you have done for Anglewood Health over the 10 years that you've been here, but for the type of person you are, and I mean that. July 1st, 1994, 25 years ago. It's a pretty big, important day for me at the time. It was my first day as a real doctor, right out of training. I entered the hallways of Englewood Hospital, a small, some would say tiny community hospital. And it wasn't long after that I started to hear the rumors. The hospital was not doing well financially. Too many hospitals in Bergen County. We may not survive. We may have to close our doors. First thing I did, started looking for a new job. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly. In fact, as I stand up here, I actually remember making one or two phone calls to our friends at Hackensack University Medical Center. <laughs> we see how far that got me. <laughs> but in all seriousness, how did we get here? Who could imagine way back then where we would be today? A thriving, successful, academic community hospital, award-winning physicians, magnet status nurses, clinical programs known nationwide, a 450 and growing by the minute hospital physician network. I am asked multiple times, how did we do it? How did we undergo that transformation? The answer is simple. Because with every interaction, every question that we deal with, every issue that arises, whether it's our physicians, nurses, employees, administrators, board members, we are laser focused on one issue and one issue only. How can we provide the best medical care for our patients? When we see a patient, whether it's in the hospital, an ambulatory setting, physician office, we look at that patient as an individual, a human being. This is someone's mother, father, a grandparent, a child, and the sad but unfortunate truth, it's human nature. We take our good health for granted. But one day we may wake up, not feel that well, eventually see a physician, potentially face a devastating diagnosis. Our patients are scared. They're sick, uncertain of their future in a vulnerable position. We see such sadness, such tragedy, and we are not immune. We feel for these people and we need to be there for them. The practice of medicine is complex, getting ever more so. In the past, a patient would have a complaint, go to their doctor's office, medication prescribed, sent on their way, hopefully they get, they get better. We have to do so much more. Study after study has shown what actually comprises the health of a given individual. 
50%, 50, just lifestyle, having access to three nutritious, healthy meals a day, a proper fitness regimen, avoiding tobacco, limited alcohol use, 20% environmental. Do our patients have a safe, stress-free environment? Do they have a roof over their head with heat and hot water, free of environmental toxins? Are their transportation needs met? 20% genetic. Traditionally, little we could do, although we are definitely making inroads in the treatment of certain genetic diseases. But that leaves 10%, 10% all that we do within the confines of a, med of a medical center. The challenges are immense. We've mentioned Tom Center spoke eloquently about mental health. But this is a crisis. Families are being destroyed. We see it, read about it, hear about it on a daily basis. And you know what? That's good. That's progress. Because five, ten years ago, no one was even speaking about it. We are just scratching the surface. The burgeoning field, telehealth, telemedicine, our younger generation with their phones glued to their hand. You think they even know how to make a phone call with that phone? <laughs> They're going to call a doctor's office and be told our next available appointment, two weeks, three weeks, we'll see you then. They are on an app that's telling them within the next hour, there are three physicians' offices that will see them within a one mile radius of their location. Better yet, they don't even have to leave their house. It's via Skype, FaceTime, things I don't know anything about. <laughs> these physician offices are seeing these patients almost instantaneously. This is not the future, this is happening now, today. And we need to be prepared. So the question is, can a successful community medical center, independent, tackle all these challenges by themselves going forward? A few may say yes, most would say no. When I am asked today, how can Englewood Health continue to provide the best medical care for our patients? The answer is easy, it's crystal clear. By joining the leading state-of-the-art technologically advanced, university-based academic healthcare system in our region, Hackensack Meridian Health, HMH. <laughs> the opportunities to us are limitless. The resources available that we could utilize to enhance and expedite our already aggressive strategic plan furthering our ambulatory footprint, bringing care closer to patients' homes. The Carrier Clinic, nationally known, leading the fight against mental health disease. John Thora Cancer Center, an NCI designate, one of only a handful in the entire country, the leading edge of the latest in diagnostic and therapeutic interventions, CAR T-cell therapy, transplants, clinical trials, HMH School of Medicine, a medical school that we, our physicians, our nurses can participate in. Teaching, research, training, the next generation of physicians and the incumbent recruitment opportunities that that affords us. I have seen what Englewood Health has accomplished firsthand over the past 25 years. And no one, no one could be more proud, not only of this institution, but more importantly, the people that comprise this institution. And I cannot wait to see what we can achieve over the next 25 years as we, together, two institutions, now one, continue the battle to provide the best health care in this region. sincerely thank each and every one of you for being here today, for not only witnessing but helping us celebrate, celebrate a truly momentous occasion for Anglewood Health. At this point, I would like to invite my fellow medical staff members up to the podium as our two CEOs and two board chairmen prepared to sign our definitive agreement. At this point, everyone else, please remain seated. 
until the documents are signed, at which point we will all gather outside behind these doors for a reception. Thank you very much. <laughs>